The Wake Up Show. With Strawberry, Lizette Love, and Jenna. On Cube 93.3. All right, everybody jump on the mic. Uh, welcome to The Wake Up Show Uncensored Podcast. I'm Strawberry. I'm Lizette Love. And I'm Jenna. Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Eric Bellinger, a.k.a. Hey. Hey. Easy. Easy yeah. is here. Holla at me. This Big is love. the oh, biggest. Welcome to work. Let's go, man. <laughs> biggest studio audience we've ever had. Ladies and gentlemen, Thanks. we are here. <laughs> Eric Bellinger is on the Uncensored Podcast. Yeah, yes. Nicely done. And uh, yes. for everybody watching this on camera, Eric gave me like some broken chair. So as soon as I sat yeah. in oh, it, I, set I up. shrunk like three feet. I set him up. I set him up. <laughs> set me up. So welcome to Seattle, my guy. Yeah. Happy to be here. What's up? What's up? What's City of new? Champions? What's up? City yes, City Champions. Uh-huh. I give yes, it to you. Yes. I give it to you. <laughs> yes. I give it to you. <laughs> How's everything? How's life? What's new, man? Good, man. Baby. Baby is new. New Oh, girl. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a week old. How's the dad How's life? How's that? It's good. The you know? change, right? Yeah, big change. Gives me new purpose. Gives me new motivation. Uh-huh. You know, I'm here Wifey for sleeping? All. Wifey, uh, Maybe. Are you sleeping? <laughs> well, I am now that I'm out of the road. He's like, now that I ain't home, I'm home, right. sleeping. But, this hotel you know. life has never been that great, but right now it's amazing. Right, exactly, right? exactly. Babies are expensive. I got an album to put out. Like, yeah. I got a tour and everything. That's I why, that's why I got to get to they it. They don't let you sleep. I got to get to yeah. it. Yeah. Every two hours on the clock? It's true. Yep. All the rumors. <laughs> All the rumors are true. That's All why he's wearing these sunglasses. Oh, you don't, you don't see you the bags. bags under his he's eyes. He's sleep right I'm now. I'm getting to the bag, and the bags is getting to my damn eyes. Uh, yeah. He got one bag in his hand and two bags under his eyes. Yeah, yep. bag man, bag man. <laughs> yep. So when when Cardi B, she was the most recent celebrity that you know was going through. I'm recording an album and yeah. having you know a kid at the same time. She All was right. the most recent celebrity. Yeah. I'm sure that now you can. So relate to what she was talking about, like okay. trying to fly. Yeah. She was actually growing a whole right. human, though. Let's not. Listen, and then had a whole no human come out of the vagina. I know a lot of people don't really, you know, give the men, you know, any type of credit at all. One I'm thing here for you, show, credit. Yes. your woman is carrying yes. the and seed. And let me tell you, giving. nothing compares to that. Okay. Right. Thank you, Eric. But, but Eric Bell is also on diaper duty. He's on diaper duty. man's man, you there with her every step. It away and Thank she, you, Eric. She gonna feel. See, did you have any sympathy pains? Yeah. Always. See, look at the sympathy <laughs> pains he had. What I'm kind? What me. kind of sympathy <laughs> pain? You I want to hear this. Away. I heard it, right? You want to wake? I want to first, first pregnancy. Whoa, I was big, boo. It was crazy. <laughs> like, I, I, I got big, so this time I did the opposite and made sure. Uh-huh. I, wow, you know a week later, saying? you're looking great. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, oh, God. Just slimmed uh, up. It's called a snapback. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's a serious snapback. You know, I've been in the gym the whole time. I hate uh, you so much. I was in there until she gave birth, and you know. You were in wow. the gym until she gave birth? <laughs> Wow. So, look. The it, disrespect right no, now. I know. I almost kind of want to hit <laughs> the, on four wife The disrespect. <laughs> well, look. Let me tell you. Look, you can tell me this is too personal. Yeah. All right? Me from my, like, tiny chair over here. Oh, my God. I Get over this, it. I have this conversation with my fiance all the time because we don't have any kids. But she goes, hey, when we come to a point, when we do, yep. you're in the room with me. I'm like, ah. I don't know if I want to be in the room with you. She goes, yes, you have to be you in the room. To. I'm have like, dude, to. I don't want to see anything. I don't want to be down there where your knees are. <laughs> you don't I have want to, to go old there. school. I'm I'm I want to go old school. I'm in the waiting room. You come tell me when it's when it's <laughs> no, like no, when oh, I hear no, that baby dad. cry, I'll walk in the room. Nah, Eric, I don't want to be there. Do. This is what you do. This is what you do. All right, the legs facing this way. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Okay. You can just be right here. Uh, by the me? pillow. You're Hold by the pillow. Hand. By her head. Hold okay. her, her hand. She squeezed this hand. She's squeezing it, you know what I'm saying? She's squeezing your hand. Doctor's over here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you want to go over here. I don't want to go over there, man. <laughs> I don't want to be in those seats. He doesn't even want to be gonna in the see. same room. You're you going to see it. Just come on this side. Just come on this side. You yeah. definitely want to be there. You're going to see it. Because if you don't see, you won't understand. See? Yep. You have to see it. It's like part of the process, bro. The baby's bro. crowning. Come look. No, I don't want to see. Baby. I, oh no, I don't want to see that either. It's Thank God I can't see that. It's still unbelievable that that actually takes place. Oh, I know, we know. I bet. I That's think about crazy. it all the time. And yes, we do feel everything. Ew. Right? Oh. Ew. Oh, yep. Set. Yeah. Can and we then, talk about music? This is also- yes. I was about to say it. I apologize for her. This is coming. Sure. I apologize for her. This is coming from a dude, though, that I can't even say anything about a period, or he'll be like, I don't know. Oh, look at him. 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 Bro, I don't want to hear so, it. So, come on. I don't want to hear you know, it. You know, we, after we have babies, You're we got rolling. like periods for weeks that we got to wear diapers. Ooh. No, you don't. Yeah, we do. Hey, check this out. From the hospital. I don't think that's everybody. That might be your situation. No, you bleed. You bleed. I'm sure, but not everyone has to wear diapers they give you yeah. these big okay it, it's all different it's like you got you know c-stations yeah you yeah got different things. everybody's different she had it natural you know yeah she was good no no epidural or nothing no yeah the epidural oh i was sure. gonna say oh, she's yeah, savage you got to, bro. the first time she didn't and the second time she was like wow 
She was like, why did I do Ooh. that? Give it to uh-huh. me. Yeah. Uh-huh. I almost missed my chance for an epidural. Ooh. Uh, cut it close. Ooh. That's fun. Yeah. That's yeah. Man. She was like, what the? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I was so Eric Bellinger's got uh, diapers to buy. So let's try to help him yeah. uh, fund his diaper. Yeah. 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 Uh, we got some new music. We, need, we got some new music. Yeah, what's his new, new single? New music, new single. It's called Type of Way. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's his name's on there? That up that and coming. Guy, yeah, yeah, that like, one guy. He dances yeah, really good. Cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's yeah. had a song. He's had a song. I've before, heard him a few times. I think he's right? like this generation's Michael Jackson or something yeah, crazy. Yeah, that's what they say. I haven't really heard of him. You might have been. I don't know. What's his name again? Under a rock or something. Yeah. Chris Brown is on your single. See, breeze. Chris. Brown. <laughs> Chris Brown, the single, uh, OG Parker produced mm-hmm. it. Oh. And man, I'm just excited because this really feels like the the gateway uh-huh. to a beginning of a new chapter, even though, you know, to some, you know, they've been able to watch and can, will say, oh, yeah, he's a bet. He's been in the game yeah, for yeah. a while. He's been doing this. But to a lot of people, this is going to be. This is my favorite new artist, and I'm excited about that. I get you with that. I love and that. Why do I get the feeling, uh, Eric, that you've known Chris Brown before? This isn't your first time. I mean, <laughs> you guys have rubbed shoulders in the past. Rodeo. You've rubbed shoulders in the past. <laughs> yeah, man. So I've been working with Chris now for the past, I don't know, it was like seven, eight years. Mm-hmm. You know, we've been working just on his projects. Yes. You know, yeah. I've been behind the scenes, you know, helping out, you know, just with the music and the creative process. So now for everything to come full circle and for him to be on my single. Mm-hmm. It's dope. You know, mm-hmm. it's God's timing. It's right when it was supposed to happen. And, you know, I'm just, you know, honored and blessed because I do look yeah. at him like you said. Like, that's big. That's uh-huh. our generation, Michael Jackson. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, I, I love that we're talking about this music, but I kind of want to give, because a lot of people might not know about mm-hmm. you, like you said. So our listeners, like you are in the background of a lot of different things. Yeah. So give us like a little bit of like maybe some song titles yeah. or something that you had some something to do with. Yeah, man. Uh, for as far as Chris Brown, you know, songs like Fine China. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. Love more, mm-hmm. new flame, and you know stereotypes, and off this new All album, the hits. and yeah. go and uh, temporary lover, and early two K, and then Usher, let me see, um, tons go missing, yeah, I yeah, you Justin Bieber right here featuring Drake, uh huh. You know, so. Been kind of behind the scenes doing my thing, and now it's like, some, some. Right, it's, time, it's time to drop some Light bombs. Work. Right. It's time to drop some bombs. Right. Yeah. yeah. Hey, so I know you're professional, and I, I know you understand the ups and downs in the industry. Yeah. But when you have a song that you wrote or produced, or you have an idea in your head, yeah. and you bring it to an Usher, a Bieber, a Chris Brown, and they yeah. go, nah, Eric Bellinger, I don't want it. <laughs> Even though you're a professional. Tell me yeah. honestly, doesn't that sting just a little bit? Like, nah, you know, you what turned it is? my project I learned, down. I learned how. At first, yeah. It's got a sting. But now I just learned that, you know, when you're bringing a song to somebody, Uh especially if they didn't have anything to do with it, for them to be Mm -hmm. connected to it in the way that you are. Right. You can't ask that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't ask that. So, you know, a lot of the... But I wrote this for you. (laughs) A lot lot of times when I'm in a studio with the guys, Uh oh, it's Westside Connect Gang, BB Bang. Uh Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Because they They feel feel it. it. It's like, yeah, "Yeah, I like that track. Should I write to this beat? You feel right. this beat? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Sure. Yeah. Go. Go on the move. And Let's your go. energy, yeah. Yeah. your energy yeah. also helps out. Like you exactly. be in there, like, oh, oh, you exactly. hear this you part, and, that? and they're right. like, oh, I do feel this yeah. part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and I if like it's that. like, if you just hear the whole thing, it's like, oh, you got to really be in their brain mentally. You yeah, know what I mean, tapped in to know what they're going through in their life. You know, so you know. In order to nail it, you kind of got to know where mm-hmm. they at mentally, mm-hmm. spiritually at the time, too. Yeah. Now, on the other side of it, I'm kind of interested to know, have you ever written a song for somebody and then yeah. been like, yo, this shit slaps so hard, I'm going to keep it for myself? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you did. I that back yes. right quick. I he love that. Yes. <laughs> what was that on Kanye West? <laughs> What was, what was that Kanye West line? Uh, I wrote I wrote songs for Jay, turned around and kept them for Ye yeah, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Eric Bellinger, you did the same move. That happened a couple times. Sometimes they're gold mines, man. Yeah. If, I did, <laughs> if I, I did that at my studio, oh, uh, you know, I got yeah. first dibs. Yeah, That's first, yeah. first right of refusal, baby. <laughs> first right. If I go to your studio, it you might be tough. Okay. Like, What's that in there? Honey. Right? <laughs> Nothing, Wes? Yeah, don't look at that one. That one sucks. You don't want that. This is the trash book. Yeah, don't even worry about that. I love that. That's funny. Yeah, you were talking about uh, being tapped into what artists are going through in their life. Yeah. So to us on the outside, we see, I'm just going to bring up like a TMZ story on, you know, name the artist, Cardi B, Justin Bieber, Chris Brown, whatever. And for us, it's like, ooh, look at this breaking news. Right. For you, these are artists and these are people. Sorry, Mm -hmm. they're more than artists. These are people. These are friends. Yeah. Yeah. So when you see some of this BS pop up in a blog, whether it's a TMZ or a Daily Mail, whatever, do you text your friend like, Yo, man, they're saying this about you. Or do you just keep it quiet like, hey, you're going to have to deal with that yourself. Yeah, I'm quiet. I'll be thinking it or whatever. I'm seeing it, and I'm acting like I don't.
don't even know what that really? is. Right. Yeah, especially if we like together and we working on something. Yeah. Thinking about how many people is, you know, might Hit be hitting them. Up, them. Right. Yeah, especially so I'm right there. I'm trying to talk about everything but that. But that, yeah. You're mm. smart for that too, because yeah. I would be irritated if right. I was one of those people like, bro, I don't want to talk uh-huh. about this. I see uh-huh. it already. I'm <laughs> done talking I'm about this. Opposite. If we're that, if we're like super, super close friends, I'm hitting yeah. their line like bitch. I'm not even. Because she messy. I'm not even. Right. Right. She messy. I'm a messy, I'm a messy bitch. I'm I nosy. See. I'm more so the op- optimistic guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's half I feel what is this? Yeah. Half 50, you know? yeah. yeah. Especially if they know about it. If they don't know about something Ooh, you and I know break it. it's hard. Hard, but yeah. depending on how close we are, I gotta be like, yeah. "Hey, heads up! Yeah. Your, if day, a, yeah, your day they, gonna get really to know, bad today. I'm yeah. just gonna let you know. Yeah. You know what okay, I mean? Okay, okay, yeah. But if everyone Little else cushion. is talking about it, then I'm yeah. like, you know what? It's for the birds. Like, yeah. fuck all that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, exactly. let's talk about something else. Exactly. If it's something, yeah, you know I mean, that's negative. You know, mm-hmm. it depends on yeah. your relationship. If y'all, you brother, sister, y'all close, close. Maybe yeah. bring it up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But if you know, right? For mm-hmm. me, a lot of times it's you know a real working relationship. You know, like I try to keep it professional you know and yeah. sometimes uh you know it's real good to be super super close mm-hmm. and sometimes it's better to just be person yeah be professional because you know a lot of times the long run you just want to make sure you're always right. good and keep it good right don't get you in know? someone else's business you can't uh, get out i'd rather just keep it yeah i mean we've we've talked to a couple athletes and they say all they always say the same thing about like the espns and the sports centers and yeah. the commentators they go Nine times out of ten, these guys don't know what they're talking about. They yeah. don't know what's going on in the locker room. They don't mm-hmm. know what's going on in the huddle. Yeah. Is it the same thing in the music industry? Like, hey, these yeah. TMZs don't know For what sure. they're talking about. Like, yeah. you guys don't even pay it any mind. Whereas yeah. us, mm-hmm. we're consuming it like crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because I think a lot of the um, headlines may not necessarily be always true. You yeah. know, a lot of them are just clickbait. You know, to get people to uh-huh. read their story, to get their blog or whatever their uh, I website, hate that so much. you know, some traction for the uh-huh. ad space, so they can continue to make money. You know, at the end of the day, so you know, I look at it like I don't take it personal. Everybody here to do a job, and the same journalists that are trying to get the headlines, mm-hmm. you know, they have a job just like we have in mm-hmm. the studio yeah. to make the hit and to stay focused. You know, to be able to provide the sound and uh, the frequencies for the world mm-hmm. but also realizing that we also have personal lives at home with our own mm-hmm. families too that's you know it's got to be hard not to go look at it though yeah I mean, especially <laughs> if it's me, about you I used too to be, i used to not have thick skin at all yeah right. i used to be not like, go, go to world star like yo mm-hmm. the video's up on world star keep me away yeah right? <laughs> and don't read the comments <laughs> do not read People, the world star like comments there's been plenty of celebrities that have come out and been like you just get so sucked into reading the comments and yeah. what everyone is saying about you and uh, was it last week we were wale. talking about wale saying yeah. Yeah. record labels should give you mental health insurance it should yeah. come mm-hmm. with the deal yeah i think because so. of that's, that reason that's, that's that's important. I I'm, think, I'm big on uh, mental health. Like, mm-hmm, same. Yeah. And I think anybody in the media, celebrity, yeah. us, whatever it is, mm-hmm, I think mm-hmm. everyone, it should be mandatory yeah. to talk to a counselor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. I think so. That's that's a. am going to start saying that. I swear. So, <laughs> I'm going to start um, promoting that. Which, there you go. Yeah, you know? yeah. I had thought about that because we had um, met some American Idol people that came in. And when I had talked to them on the mm-hmm. sidelines, yeah. uh, they were talking about how they went to their counselor and they were talking because it was really hard for them. They went from normal teenagers yeah. to like especially, a million followers. Especially like teenagers. That. Yeah, that's, yeah. When, you when, talk, you're when you're that you're saying young. This, that's all I'm thinking about is the kids yep. because, you know, mm-hmm. all they're doing is comparing, you know, their page, Hell their yeah. likes, their comments to the next person. And, uh-huh. they, you know? and they're so easy to mold. Too. Hell yeah. Yeah, exactly. They see somebody doing something, they're like, okay, Hey, maybe that's what I need to do to feel cool. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's what I need to do to fit in as opposed yeah, to gaining pressures. your own opinion, gaining your own character, personality so that you can be who you are, mm-hmm. you know, and we yep. can have a different version of what we need in this world you know, yeah. as mm-hmm. opposed to another copycat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They were telling me that it was they had to, whether they wanted to or not, they each individually had to sit with the counselor and talk that's after love. every single show. That's love. It's a lot of pressure, Hell you know, yeah. especially mm-hmm. once people start seeing you, you know, once you get that first little bug of mm-hmm. fame or, you know, whatever it is, it's like a drug, you yep. know, and a lot of people can't control, you know, uh, just the feeling of like wanting that again, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. so that's why you start seeing people do crazy stuff like squeeze lemons in their eyes. Right. Oh, that kid. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? Supreme Patty. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I know his name. See, it's damn yeah. shame. God damn it! I know. I didn't even know his name, but I knew who he was talking about. Yeah. That's your people's over there too, by the way. That's, that's your man's. <laughs> <laughs> that's 
that's that's not my brother him. right there. We don't claim him. <laughs> You're gonna be like, ah. <laughs> and I'm like, kids, yeah. yo, why? Millennials, yeah. why? Yeah. Or that, that trend so where they were lighting different. themselves on fire, lighting themselves on fire, eating ice cream out the thing. Oh, out the don't tub. even get me started Bruh. on that. <sighs> they going with the cucumbers. It's beyond. Oh God, Lord. Me. man. Although, who oh, was it? Damn. Who was it that had the cucumber Trouble. party? Trouble going hammer a, with it. A, that trouble uh-huh. was like, trouble was like, look, y'all gonna be ignorant, and mm-hmm. I'm gonna be ignorant right with y'all. And a hundred times. That was times. a mess. And then Boosie, <laughs> he just took it over the edge. You know, he had another pool party that was like, oh, well, like a topless titty pool party. I was like, Boosie, you are just trying to catch a case, huh? Hey, mm-hmm. topless titties over cucumbers all day. All day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, mm-hmm. you should have seen the video he posted with the cucumber situation. It was it. crazy. I Literally, a girl it. got fucked with the cucumber. And it's like all over Insta- all mm-hmm. over his Instagram. Like Ladies and gentlemen. That, video, that video is actually Close down now, though. But is it? Yeah. Mm. I went to go show somebody, and it was gone. I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning, checking before I went to work, and all I saw was pussy in my face. <laughs> I was like, oh, some my point, God, what is Ladies, that? it is no longer your prerogative. Oh, no. my God. Yeah. No. No. It was bad. I hope she stays out of the comments. She shouldn't chill. read those comments, either. Don't she should. She is. I'm she, pretty sure that was, like, the highlight of her life. She loved the attention. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. The, that's the thing. Like, the, actually, the morals, do they actually, like, have... Any, it's you feel sad, like once they man. do that, once they like cucumber, mm-hmm. let's get it. Mm-hmm. Post, it's it's rough. It's like, where are you at, mm-hmm. ladies, I know. ladies? I know. Yeah, we gotta. Mm-hmm. Jenna, it, Jenna, let, let, let's Lizette, what's it? Lizette, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's the hardest thing about for me for this generation and just for watching things on World Star. Like girls will be like doing little skits of them like uh, masturbating in a in a car Drive wash through, right? or oh, like whatever. Yeah. yeah, you know, and like it's just certain things. Like, bro, do you not have any other fucking talent that you mm-hmm. can display except right. for your thought ass? Like right. that doesn't make no sense to me. Zero. And then I have to turn around and see all these little girls that are doing way too much by the time they're twelve years old. Exactly. And I'm like, so you good with that? Though. Right. You know, some people mm-hmm. are like, oh, okay, well, I'm not a role model. That's congratulations. But right. know that even if you don't want to be your fucking role model, you're still a role model. Yeah. Like, yeah, it watching. bothers people me. Are watching. So anytime I talk to little girls, I'm like, yo, like, I'm really avid about that on my Instagram. I don't mm-hmm. really post a lot of titty <clears throat> photos, ass photos. I'm yeah. pretty much like a tomboy. Yeah. And so I tell them, you know, you can still get to where you want to be sure. without showing all that skin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. So, you know what I mean? I just, yeah. it just sucks to mm-hmm. see yeah, all that all, shit. It's all for likes and for followers and views. And for people and... to talk about it like we are. <laughs> So like yeah. we are part of the fucking problem, I guess. Yeah, but we gon' we gonna, I whip my dick out all the time on Instagram, Eric Boucher. <laughs> I just want to tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the uncensored <laughs> show here on yes. Q ninety three three. We got to write a song for these, Eric Bellinger. You need to write a song for these ladies. Uh, just cucumbers. Kinda, just kind of br- no, no. Just kind of right, right. bring the bring the class <laughs> back. Bring the class back. Bring the class back. back. I got a song. Hey man, new back. album, the Rebirth Two. I got a song called Insta Famous. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. here we go. Talking about all Insta that, Famous. Huh? You Insta Famous. They know what your name is. But what about your babies? Ooh. What about a career? What about an education? Mm. You ain't even got a job, but you stay on them vacations, huh? Preach, bro. Insta Preach. Famous. <laughs> Thank you. Insta that tears so, <laughs> What's gonna be going on with you for like yeah. the next few months? What do you got promoting lined up? Promoting type Woo! away. That's we promoting type we away. We promoting type away. And any chance I can get, I'm going home to hold my baby. Right, Chris? Uh, and same. then I'm out. And then uh, I'm on the road. And then I'm back. I love got a that job new baby to do. Smell. Yeah. Ooh. So the new baby smell. So it's, it's like. Hmm. I know. I'm right? always like the creepiest yeah. person. I'm like, can I smell? All up. Can, can I, I smell I your baby? They're like, go ahead. I'm like. You know that's what? That's it's that's like a that's fix. That's a uh, placenta perfume. <laughs> right? Oh, Jesus. Oh, he hated that. Strawberry. Kylie like Jenner. Kylie placenta Jenner got a bottle perfume. of that. That's the next one. Did yeah. you guys eat the placenta? Storm, storm placenta. Nah. Did you? Did you peel no, it I up? I didn't peel it. <laughs> Throw it in your smoothies? I did Juice not. it? I did not. Did she try to... No such thing. Did she try to bring that conversation up? Nah. You know, they, yeah. Brought it up. <laughs> she brought it I up. Said, you know they be eating. I said, what? It's a thing. That? Nah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what about her breast milk? Is she breastfeeding? Yes. So Did you try that? That was the com- most recent combo that we had last night, actually. I was like, man, I don't know. You, know you gotta saying? try it. I heard it's but sweet. But I always be like, nah. Whenever it's right there, I be like, nah. But for some reason, yesterday, been away from home. You know what I'm saying? Just like, damn, it's just... That's what he's drinking? I said, all right, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll try have a little, one spoon, just but a little I got to put some cinnamon toast yeah, yeah. You got a little squirt? I got to yeah. put some cinnamon toast yeah. crush. At least one little square of cinnamon so toast crush. So you did it, though? No, no not oh. yet. Oh, oh. God, negative. Get a little breast milk squirt. But you're going to? Come on. Just like a little drink. Maybe with just... a spoon and a cinnamon toast crunch on the top. My boyfriend said. She going to lean over the, the cereal bottle like, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> cereal bowl. <laughs> and one. <two. laughs> you just milked her, right? You just <laughs> air milked her. I don't think that's a bad thing. My boyfriend said he'd be down to try it when we have a child. But he's the like, milk. I don't know if I can do it warm. 
He's uh, like, I feel like the war rocks. might be kind of weird. Rocks. <laughs> maybe, maybe, rocks, maybe. maybe if it's in the a refrigerator. Rocks. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Squirt it into the coffee. That's little latte. It's already warm. Okay. Hey, but it squirts out so slow. Oh, does it? It's like... That shit is gold. It's liquid gold. It is. It is. You, know yeah. you can sell that shit for a lot of money on eBay. <laughs> yeah, you can. Have you yeah. seen a breastfeeding mother waste a bottle or someone or whatever yeah. waste a bottle of milk that was just maybe breast pumped out? Yeah, that's a, uh, ooh, knock it over. When you got, when like, you got no. a dump and pump, it's like, fuck. And then you just waste it and it takes yeah. like three yeah. hours. Does it's it hard. takes that long? It takes maybe a long time. Maybe for a time. big like this much? For yeah. a bottle, yeah. You can't do that in one Damn. city. Damn. So you oh, waste. Like, it's like it's like a drip, like drop. Oh, that takes way too drop. long. Drop. It's like an essential bottle dropper. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> Eric Bellinger bringing all the the, the info facts. and the facts around fun here. Fact. There you go. Fun <laughs> fact. Hey, I got a, actually a fact that I just learned. I I don't know if I knew about this and I forgot, but I thought of you, Strawberry. Okay. DJ Lou Rock told me that you know that kids they don't have kneecaps until they're like ages five. What? What? They don't have kneecaps. No That's cap? how they they can no bend and stuff. No cap. That's no why babies cap. are so fucking yes! flexible. They have no fucking Ugh. kneecaps. That's amazing, Damn. right? Fun fact. Ooh. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> With the fun fact. This is what That's we do crazy. on air all the time. We're like hella random. That. So like Isn't that, that nuts? That's that is crazy. Nuts. Yeah. Thanks, Lou. That's a little creepy. Well. So, ladies, uh, stop being Insta famous. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Everybody who likes good music, hit up your radio station, hit up your Spotify playlist, yes. get yes. type away going. Come on now. It's mm-hmm. Eric Bellinger. Uh, what's what's that? The, the new the new artist name? Uh, uh, Chris Brown. Chris yeah, Brown. Yeah, 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 that guy. That other guy. Christopher. Christopher. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, he's got a good future, uh, but we appreciate you. We appreciate <laughs> you hanging with us, my guy. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. Thanks for coming yeah. by. Always no welcome at yes. Q93.3. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Eric Bellinger, a round of applause for him, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, man. It's, hit us up on Instagram at It's The Wake Up Show. I'm at Lisette Love, L-I-Z-E-T-T-E-L-O-V-E-E. I'm at J-O-Day87. And Eric Bellinger. Yo, man, Eric Bellinger, E-R-I-C-B-E-L-L-I-N-G-E-R. It's the gubby gub. There you go. I am at Strawberry Radio. And real quick, as a fellow Eric, you understand there's something weird about the Erics that spell their names with K's, right? I'd be like, oh. isn't that weird? <laughs> it's super weird. Like Eric, special, like, special. Nobody. I feel like I gotta be like, Eric. oh, what's up, Eric? Yeah. <laughs> R K. Eric. You, you ask any Eric, and we all know that the ones with a K, Are there's cool. just something weird about yeah. the K's. Yeah. 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 All I picture is like white boys with anklets. Like, Ooh, you know, don't, like don't wake up the C K. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the C K. Uh, other, other than Eric story. Sermon. Other than Eric Sermon. The Facts. CK is a whole all different right, breed. All right, all right, shout out to Calvin Klein. All, all right, right. Calvin Klein. <laughs> <laughs> the Wake Up Show. With Strawberry, Lizette Love, and Jenna. On Cube 93.3.